welcome to Virginia's Views and Vibes. I'm your host, Ginny Gardner. This evening, I am thrilled to have my guest, Stefano Selimbane, yes. journalist, reporter, and now friend. Welcome, Stefano. It's an honor to have you here. It's so much fun. Thank you, you so much. You pronounce it right. Oh, good. <laughs> Which <laughs> makes you one of the few in America that <laughs> does that. <laughs> Stefano, it's, it's so great to have you here. You have an amazing story. You're a journalist, reporter. You've done over a thousand stories at least at least a thousand at least and you're still you're still doing it but you're also involved in other things you're a translator yes council general on the side on the side wow <laughs> tell me about yourself tell me more more yes <laughs> you said journalist right yes uh, if you're a journalist you're gonna be a journalist until you die no matter what else you do yeah okay you're right and I've been a journalist for most of my life my professional life I uh, did, uh, like you said, 1,000 stories at wow. least, because that's the ones that I have in my archive, which yeah. I still have to put together. Oh my gosh. Half of it is put together, the other half is not, because I've been in this business long enough that I started before I would, could put stuff on the web. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. So uh, <laughs> I have a lot of VHSs, yeah. as what I've seen here. You have them too. We save them. And a lot of uh, young people don't even know what they are. Right. Like That's cassettes. True. You yes. know, one of those things that. Yeah. But we started out when uh, the cameras weigh, would weigh more than the people that operated them. Yeah. I think I asked you on the phone. <laughs> You remember your, I remember my very first show. I know I remember my first two. What, do you remember your very first reporting? Look, it's, a, it's an un, unforgettable memory. Yeah. Yeah. And it seems like it happened the other day. I mean, the day before yesterday. Yeah. It was 98, wow. 98, so the other century, <laughs> when we had cassettes <laughs> and cameras and mics that cost a lot of money. Yeah. So. I actually did uh, a master in journalism. Right, Print BU. Journalism. You went to BU. BU. Yes, I political came here. Political science in journalism. That's I right. Came, I did political science in Bologna. Yep. Then I came here for a master in journalism. Wow. And at the time, I thought that journalism was more real when you wrote about yeah. stuff. TV, I thought at the beginning, yeah. I thought, uh, television, uh, you're a slave of too many things, to the camera, yeah. <laughs> to the light, yeah. whatever happens around you, people get distracted, blah, 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 blah. So I wanted to be this journalist with the, with the plume, you know, with the, with the, the you pen. know, you're yeah. the pen of, of, of the, the goose or whatever, <laughs> at night with the light, with the lantern Very and whatever, journalism. blah, blah, yeah. blah. Then, this guy brings me, he was doing stuff for Italian National Television. His name is Gianni Gallo, and I want to thank him because he, he not only instructed me, he, 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 he started me yeah. into this world. Yeah. And he said, let's do something for Rai, this and that. I'm like, boo, So we did it. We went to the North End, and oh, it, was, wow. <laughs> it was during... <laughs> a game of Italy, and everybody was watching Italy and the cafes and Football. stuff. Football. Soccer. Soccer. <laughs> and I said, let's do a try. Let's try something. I'm like, yeah, let's try. He puts a mic on my hands, and he said, don't drop it, because oh you God. drop it, this is going to cost like something like $3,000. <laughs> and I have this thing in my hand, right? And then the camera is in my face. I see the light. Oh, my gosh. And right then and there, I knew that was going to be the rest of my life. Yeah. If you could do it, right that's right. Right then and there. Yeah. I, loved, I loved every second wow. of it. From the first moment, when I was trying not to drop the mic on yeah. the floor, yeah. until two years ago, when I had yeah. to stop. Because uh, Italian national television did a lot of uh, cuts because they, they lost uh, the, 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 the right to show soccer around the world. So a lot of people went away from Italian right. television. Yeah. 
and they had to do cuts, and I didn't think I was going to be part of those cuts, and unfortunately yeah. I was. Yeah. So I loved every second of it, from yeah. the first time they put a mic on my hand, in your hand. until, you know, two years ago when I, when I, when I had to stop. Yeah. yeah. But if you've been a journalist, I've been a journalist 23 years of my life, so most of my professional life, mm -hmm. and no matter what else I do, I'm still going to be a journalist until the day yeah. I die. And on a local level, you interviewed, you went to New Hampshire, and this is very local because Newton is home to the Mastriani family. The people that do the limoncello and now all the limoncello products, cookies, mm. candies, they bake. It's amazing. It went from limoncello in their basement or garage. They're from Calabria, no? Yes. And now they are do they're doing everything, and they're, and they're known throughout the entire country. One of the best products ever. We, I put uh, them on television uh, uh, yeah. a long time ago. Wow. If you, I, do you have that up I, anywhere I have that everything. you could share it? Okay. I have everything. everything. <laughs> no, actually, no. I have uh, <clears throat> the second half of my career up on the web. Yeah. And they are. I know they are. Wow. And um, can I promote sure, my absolutely. website? Absolutely. <laughs> I yes. have two. I have uh, yes. a website with my first and last name, Stefano Salimbeni. Yeah. dot com yeah. and you can see the name yep, yep. So very easy very easy stefano yep yep also I'll we put have, it on my page too all right and i have a youtube channel yeah um it's called salimbeni rai so salimbeni salimbeni yeah r a i r a i that's is that the italian news that's italian yeah. national salimbeni television r a i yeah i'll put that on my page as well but that, it, it's so interesting because I went through some of your stories and one of them was cooking in Maine and in Rhode Island. And I thought, how do you, how do you, how do you go up to Maine and just find somebody Italian and, and do a story? It's amazing. Okay, I have a map in my house, right? Map of Italy, of course, with all the, the yep. pins where I've been, whatever. Yeah. And I have a map of the United States and most of my trips were for work. But then yeah. if you go for work, then you do other things too, right? Right. Um, you eat. <laughs> I, uh, every state in this country, every state, you can find Italians. They do something yeah. interesting. Yeah. Not just Italians. Yeah. Italians that do something interesting. Uh, something that is worth talking about, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's not just locally. I did, I went around the country. I zigzagged. Wow around the country for 23 years, oh, looking for Italian stories to tell. Yeah. And then told them, right? And then broadcasted, I didn't broadcast it, Italian television, television right, did, right. Uh, around the world. Oh my God. So people, I, I, I hate to say this, but I am famous, so to speak, yeah. in Italian circles wow. around the world. Wow. In fact, now, I am selling Italy at Brelundi restaurant. <laughs> uh, by the way, Michael Colomba, who's yep. my boss now, yep. I put him on television a couple of times already. Oh my God. In the past. Yeah. And I put on television uh, everybody, really. I mean, I put on television uh, Donato Frattaroli, which was my former boss. Yeah. I also worked for his restaurant. Oh, wow. uh, so uh, this, this gentleman, both of them gave yeah. me the chance of still selling Italy in a yeah. different way. Yeah. And I love it. Oh, I, wow. I really do. I mean, if I could go back to being a journalist, I'd do it tomorrow. Yeah. I'd do it right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. However, given all the different choices, the best thing I can do is still selling Italy. Yeah. The good part of Italy. You know, see, for instance, I work for a restaurant now, and it was, I used to work for another restaurant before, and then I worked for my former, for my uh, current boss before that too, so I changed a couple of times, but they were all good Italian restaurants. I could not work for a restaurant. <laughs> no, I couldn't. Yeah, right, you couldn't, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't because I cannot, I cannot lie. Right. So if... I like, like most of the stuff there. Yep. 
I'm going to tell to people, look, there's this. I love it, and I do. Yeah. Some stuff I don't like. I don't tell that they're there. Yeah. I don't <laughs> tell them we have this stuff that I hate. But <laughs> among the stuff that I sell, yeah. most of the stuff I love oh. because they're authentic. Because they come from Italy, because the, both bosses yeah. are Italian, Italian, born and bred. Well, Mike is, is Mike Sicilian. Yeah. Is he Sicilian? Yeah. And like me. Yeah, but still, <laughs> it's still Italy. Yeah. Don't, of course. Please, please. Yes. <laughs> this thing about Sicilian and Italian. <laughs> Sicily has always been part of Italy. Yes. Oh, and in Italy, there's no, you know, people don't We're say. We're all Italian. It's I Italian. Know, I know, I know. Yeah, but, I agree. But it's more of an American thing than an Italian. Really? Yes. Are you Sicilian? Are you Italian? No, you're Italian, period. Yeah. And now they want to build a, a bridge over the... I know, uh, I heard. Yeah. <laughs> and there's been a long time <laughs> controversy about it because it costs too much because we should spend money on other things. But that's a total Do they want program. it? Do the people in Sicily want that? Some people do, some people they don't. They do, yeah. It's, uh, like everything. It's politics. Yeah. It really is politics. Yeah. I could stand here, sit here and talk about politics Forever. I could too, so. But no, <laughs> not. I don't want to do that. Also, because tomorrow night. I know. Are you going to be in New Hampshire? Will you cover I that? I was. Up? I was. I did that. Did you? Yes. Yeah. When they pay me to do it. Yeah, I'm going to be there. And now, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to be paid. I am going to be there. I'm going to. I'm going to write. I'm going to report. See? Because, because, like you said, y you never lose it. No, you, you know don't. that when you you're don't. sitting, you when you're there. You're taking it all in, look, and you I'm, get to know people. Look, I'm gonna be home tomorrow night. I'll watching call you. It. <laughs> Please. I will. <laughs> no, I was there. Okay. Uh, there's another part of my life that I didn't talk about. I was also a writing journalist yes. for the largest non-gossip magazine really? of Italy. It's called Familia Cristiana, Christian ah, Family. Okay. And it's the largest non-gossip uh, magazine because, because uh, it was uh, delivered in churches and stuff. So you understand, in Italy, the Pope lives there. Yeah. So there's a lot of people who go to church, whatever. So, so I used to be a reporter for that. Really? And on that paper, that's another place that didn't pay that well. Nobody yeah. paid Nobody me Nobody pays. Well. I'm sorry. <laughs> you do it for the love. You do. And then you make money elsewhere. It's a, sorry. The mic. <laughs> I shouldn't do this. <laughs> Professionals shouldn't do this ever. But uh, they never paid me well. Not even Rai paid me well. Yeah. Uh, they paid yeah. me, yes, but not as well as they should have. Yeah. And then they forgot to pay me sometimes. They find that they find, sometimes they paid me whenever they remembered and if <laughs> the weather was fair enough. I mean, I, I treated Rai as if he was mine. Yeah. And then, and as a. Uh, as a reward, they send me home after 23 years without saying goodbye. But that's a different story. Um, yeah. Now, they, that, they, the, the, the magazine that I used to write for, yeah. um, uh, I had uh, cover stories, one about Trump. Did you really? Mm -hmm. one, about, one about the election when Biden was elected. Really? Uh, and sometimes I had more... <laughs> coverage, I mean, mo more pages there than people that covered the Pope. <laughs> and people told me, you shouldn't have more pages than the Pope. <laughs> and the Pope used to read my stuff. Really? But the Pope reads Familia yeah, Cristiana. Familia. Of course, of course. And I, I used to be together, and it sounds like nepotism, but it's not. Yeah. I used to be together oh. with one of the... Um, one of the, now now she's a uh, senior editor there. Really? We were together when we were very young. Yeah. And we both had this this bug, journalist yeah. bug in the head. Yeah. And we were to be, together, what, three years. But then she called me and said, you're in America, do something for us. Years after we broke, broke up. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Do you have a favorite story? Because you traveled all no. over the United States. No. Is, it's everyone that you're doing now is no. your favorite story. No, let me story. tell you, let me tell you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> The best piece that I've done used to be the next one. Yes. Always. Yes. Uh, yeah. I have, of it's course, funny. I have a few favorite ones. Yeah. But it's not three. It's like 10 or 20. Yeah. Uh, we could That's right. sit here and talk about my stories forever. Yeah. Uh, and I could, I could. I wouldn't get bored, right? They probably no. will. No, not but at I, all. Not at all. Um, I have 
you know, some stories are better than others. Some stories are more exciting than others. Yeah. But every story was like, I did it as if it was the last story that I ever did. Yeah. You know? Yeah. With that kind of concentration, that yeah. kind of focus. Yeah. Everyone has a story to tell. Everyone. You could yes. go through, the, and, and, and people yes. now won't know what this is because we're beyond yes. this, but you yes. could go through a telephone book, open a page, yes. pick a name. Everybody has yes. a story. Let me tell you. At the restaurant, it's the same thing. Really? <clears throat> the restaurant is, is nice because you're surrounded by people. Yeah. Right? And if you know how to talk to them, mm -hmm. everybody has something interesting to say yeah. to you. Some yeah. more, some less. But you have to find, every time you talk to somebody, everybody you interview somebody, right? Yeah. It's a trip in, into a universe. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And in that universe, there's going to be a planet that you don't know about and you want to learn about. Yeah. And that's the spirit with which you want to do interviews. Yeah. Yeah. And interviews never get you tired. You can do interviews for the rest of your life and another life and another two. You never get tired of it if you do it the right way. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. We do um, this every is what, March. half an hour? I yeah. could be here three days talking I know. about this. I'm well, sorry. you're coming back. Did you know that? Oh, yeah, no. We're going to have you no. back. <laughs> but it depends on the audience. If they say, no, no more no, of this guy, no more of this bold guy. <laughs> That you know <laughs> reflects the light. And <laughs> I, I want to ask you because you've lived, you've obviously lived both places. Yes. I want to talk about see Italian women. I had a very strong mother and two very strong grandmothers. And when I say strong, they were ahead of their times. They worked. They took care of the family. They were not like they picture 1950 housewives with the little dresses and the petticoats and the nails done and the hair. They went out and they would, my grandmother would pick dandelions, greens, and then come in and that would be part of dinner, the greens. She'd go out to the garden. They worked hard. Then they would go to a job. One of my, one of my grandmothers worked when she first came here for Jones in New York in New, in New York. And then she came to Waltham and worked in a factory there while she raised her three kids. They were ahead of their time. We weren't, they were not the stay-at-home housewives that, you know, had their nails done. And I'm not knocking anyone for having their nails done, but, you know, high heel shoes around the house. They worked hard. And they were an example for me and for my sisters, I Let think. me tell you something about Italian women. Italian women went a long way, even in Italy. Yeah. Right? But a lot of them were in charge yes. of the household. <laughs> no matter the nails and what they wore, they were in charge. Yes. Okay? Yes. <laughs> they were in charge of the men, of the kids, and maybe they didn't, I think it's the same in an, a lot of Arab, Arab, Arab countries. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. They don't look like they're in charge, but they are. They are in charge. And yeah. now, more and more. You know, the problem is in Italy now. Ten minutes what? Ten minutes. <laughs> what? Well, I just started. I know. Keep talking. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so you started to say Italian women. <laughs> Italian women. <laughs> well, no, first of all, let me, they're let me tell you something about a little more dramatic, yeah. a little serious. There's a lot of what they call in Italy now feminicidi, meaning uh, killings of women, right? Really? Yes. And a lot of people, it's a big, it's big news now in Italy. A lot of people are killing their lovers because they break up with them, right? Wow. Now, a lot of them are men in their own family or partners or people that are being rejected. There is... Wow. I know, this is serious. That's it why is I told serious. you it's serious. Yes. It is serious. But it's what they talk about in Italy. And now there's a, a whole movement trying to save women in, in trouble, right? Yeah. So hosting them in houses where they're safe. Wow. There's a lot of, you know what that is? A lot of it is men that cannot accept the change. Ah. Uh, okay? Yeah. A lot of it comes from there. Patriarchal society in Italy is still kind of strong, right? But there's a lot of change going on. Wow. So a lot of men cannot deal with it. And if your mind is not exactly straight, you do stuff like that. Wow. So 
That's interesting. We could have a whole show yeah. talking about this. Yeah. And every year, there's like femini feminicidi, right? It means like, you know, killing of women, Kimi right? Killing women. Most of them from their own family or from their own, you know, no, the men that were rejected, you know, dumped or yeah, whatever right, you say. It, you right, know what I'm breaking up. Now, yes, true, it's not always the woman's fault <laughs> yeah, or the man's fault, <laughs> yeah. right? But you don't kill anybody. Wow. You right, don't right, kill right. anybody. Right, relationships end. Exactly. Right. And people get But hurt. a lot yes. of people cannot wow. deal with it. Wow, I you did see? not... That it's is a big, breaking it's news, big news. Here. It's big news. No, it no, no, no. You watch Italian news. It's wow. all over the place. It's all over the place. So, are women are women protecting themselves? Are they? They are. They learning self defense. L learning. Can you carry? Can yeah, women carry a, guns there? Yeah, but it's not. It's not the guns. It's like, it's the culture has to change. Yeah. And it is changed slowly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's very interesting phenomenon. But this is I don't. This is probably not the show. No, the right show not, to talk no. about it. Uh, but it is. since you mm -hmm. mention it, yeah. You know. They went, they went a long way. And I think a lot of women are just as good as men. Yeah. Just as good, sometimes better, sometimes they're not. Yeah. However, I also think the men and women, they should have the same opportunities. Yes, right? yeah. But they, they are different. Of course they are. Uh, they are different. This, this, all these politics about, you know, the gender, you know, equality, this and that. We're not the same. We're not the same. We are not the same. We are not the same. And here, you probably know, obviously, men, biological men, playing in women's sports. Now, going in women's locker rooms. That, that is absolutely not. That should not be happening. I, you know, I've been, I've, I've been running for 30, over 30 years. I could never beat a man. I don't care if, if he's 10 years older than me. I, can, I know... There's a difference. I could not be made. I'm not made to do that. And men aren't made to have babies. No. And, and men look. that say they're women are, are not. And it infuri I'm, I'm sorry you brought this up because it You brought it up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we started talking about I'm my journalistic <laughs> career. And, and now we're into politics. And it's politics. Of course it's politics. And, but anyway, so let, I'm going to drop it because I, I, be, <laughs> I will launch. You'll see me launch. This is one of my big things in politics. I, am, I, am, I support Riley Gaines and all of that. So let's mm. go on. Let's Triple talk about that. So <laughs> let's look at something else. I want to yes. ask you too. So you are now manager of a great restaurant, and do, now do you do all the hiring? Do you cook? It's called Brelundi. Brelundi in Walt and people, Watch City. People don't even know what Brelundi stands for. I know. So I my do. boss is going to be very happy. I know. If I say, hey, you, of course you do. You're a customer. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Breakfast, Brelundi. lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Sounds like an Italian name, but it's not. <laughs> not. It's Brelundi. It's a, it's a genius <laughs> idea from the, from the boss. It is a Can genius. Can I say that? Yes. It's, it's not mine. It, yeah. I wish it was mine, <laughs> but it's not. And it's great food. Very good. I love the food there. I do. Very good. Uh, very <clears throat> authentic. Yeah. However, yeah. however, it's not as authentic as he would have liked at the beginning. Really? And not as authentic as I would like. Really? Okay? And we are on the same page, mm. me and him. Yeah. However, you're in America. You have to make Americans oh. happy. Yeah. Give you one... one, yeah. one uh, just one example. He does breakfast, right? Yeah. Breakfast is he does? Super, super. Never been? Not for breakfast, no. Everybody comes to Brelundi for breakfast. It's right, right on Prospect Street and uh, oh, we can, we can, Charles River. Oh, yeah. Oh, we can? Yes. Yes. Charles eight. River, Prospect Street, Waltham. It was the old watch factory. Absolutely beautiful. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> if you can do this, I would have done it from the beginning. Brelundi, Brelundi, Brelundi. <laughs> no, 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 no. He, um, before, he had more, more, even more Italia, even more really? authentic, with people making pastries here and bread here, this and that. And, but there was no bacon. And people were like, where's the bacon? I want the bacon. The ba he had uh, to put bacon in it. He had to. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Otherwise, yeah. too many people can say, where's the bacon? Where's the beef? <laughs> Look, fine. One thing, though. You don't want to be too authentic, but you don't want to be, you know, too Cooking catering yeah. to Americans too much. Right. Because you know why? If you cater to Americans too much and you do stuff that doesn't look Italian any yeah. anymore, you know what's going to happen? Somebody's, somebody's going to open down yeah. the street. Yeah. Five dollars less and you close. Mm. Yeah. And you close. So 
you, a little, but not too much. Yeah, I love it. You have to find the right uh, balance. Yeah. And by the way, we have the best, the best cannoli north of New York. I have to say this before. You, you know, do. I, I, I've the had The best them. cannoli <laughs> north of New York because we get the ricotta from Sicily. That's right. I make yes. them myself like this. And let me tell you, if I go back to being a journalist, which I wish I will, probably, maybe it's going to happen. Yeah. I told them. I've come to the restaurant when it's time to do the ricotta yep. for free. <laughs> you tell me when it's time, I come to the restaurant, and I'll do it. Tell me how you make it real quick. It, it's, gives, it's, me, it gives me so much joy just to do it. It's vinegar, right? You had vinegar? No? No, 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 no. The ricotta, <laughs> ricotta is from sheep, sheep meat, yeah. right? comes from Sicily already. So you put it, you know, you take it out of the box. And so yeah. it's, you put lemon zest in it. And then you turn. And then you fill up the pasty bags. Oh. And then, 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 part of it, now that we have the, the, the material, you put pistachio in it. Or you put hazelnuts in it. Really? And you do, and you do it yourself. You know? So when I wow. offer a cannoli, it's my cannoli. And it's the <laughs> best north of New York. And you know, I probably offer too many small ones. I tell everybody, have one. Yep. When they have one. They low and they come back. And they'll never And nobody eat goes back to the North End again. <laughs> I see a road trip for the, you met the screw. So I see a road trip to Berlundi's no, very No, no, I'm going to bring them. Next time I come here, cannoli for everybody. everyone. Okay. I don't know if the, the, the boss agrees. He probably does. I, he probably He's a very, very nice He's man. He's great. He's a great very guy. Very nice man. He I does quite a bit. Waltham, he, um, he helps the homeless shelter oh, on... Felton Street? Is it Felton Street? Yes. Right Where off we used to have the yep. cafe there. Now it's yeah. all uh, homeless. Yeah. He does a lot of things. He, he does. He doesn't want you to talk about it too I much. I know. But he nice does man. great things. Nice man. He's, and now he he's really going to open in, in, in Tewksbury. Oh, really? Bill Rica. And he's going to open a hotel in Waltham. Is he really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Good for him. He Good does great him. things. He's a great Good man. for him. I hope he doesn't fire me. He's not going to fire you. You're going to go with him. <laughs> and I make work. You're going to make the work. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, there's only about two minutes, but I want you to tell one favorite minute. part of one minute, favorite part of America, favorite part of living here. What's your favorite part? Working for Mike or uh, <laughs> coming on my show? <laughs> wow. Coming on my show. Favorite part of being here is that I can come back whenever I want. Yeah. You have dual so citizenship. I can do, yeah. So I, I can enjoy both worlds. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm home here. Yeah. I'm home in Italy. You're home there. Every time I get on a plane, I'm going home. Ah. Oh, that is so nice. That really is. And I want to go back. We're wrapping up. I want to go back to Italy. Um, come back again. Berlundi's. And come back again. And sell them bene. Right? Yeah. <laughs> sell them bene.com. Say the website. <coughs> Stefano Salimbeni.com. Stefano Salimbeni.com. Salimbeni. R-A-I. R-A-I. S-A-L-I-M-B-E-N-I. Beautiful. R-A-I. Come back again. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Va bene? Va bene. <laughs>